What's up YouTube? This is Groudon Empire and I am back for another episode of Road to 1700. Episode 15. So we're finally up to episode 15. Why is episode 15 special? It's not special, but I just like the number 15. Uh, so last time we had a pretty good episode. However, we still have we we're still fresh in Road to Rank, uh, Road to uh, whatever this is, a rating battle. So um Winning doesn't really like losing gets me, but winning doesn't mean too much at this point because I mean we're supposed to be winning because we're only low. We'll be we're, we're below, we're below sixteen hundred. Anyways, I'm gonna click our team and start start the challenge. So anything less than sixteen hundred, you should be winning and winning and winning even more. So our rating is fifteen fifty two. Uh, there's nothing special. We need to get it increased faster and faster, higher and higher. And the real challenges come, you know, in the 1600s. And uh, winning those games feel nice. But over here, going 1 and 1, or. We found a pretty higher rating than us opponent. When we go 0 and 0, I mean 0 and 2, or 1 and 1, when we're below 1600, it feels really bad. Because that's. You're not. You're going very slow, or you're not even going to gain any points, you know? So, that sucks. So we have a Kangaskhan, an Aegislash, a Chandelure. So, we, just like, I used to have a team all of you. It looks, this looks so much like my team that I used to get number one in Canada. I used a Kangaskhan. I used, not a Chandelure, but I used a Gengar. Um, Bokestash Gengar. Uh, I used an Aegislash. <laughs> I used a Bandit Azumarill. Uh, I used a T-Tar and I used a Thunderous. Now, when I tried to improve the team, I got rid of Tyranitar for Togekiss. So, Togekiss, so this is actually so similar to that team. So this is a successful team. So this person is going to be very difficult. To, well, not exactly, but more or less going to be very challenging to battle. But hopefully we do well. Um... I'm going to start off with the Scizor. Why not? No, I'm going to start off with Gastrodon. Hmm. No, I'm starting off with Scizor. If there's a Chandelure in front of my face, I'm going to go into a Doomerill probably. No, I'm going to go into Blissey. No, nah, Blissey doesn't want to have any of that. Any of that garbage. Actually, though, Blissey wants to take care of four, four Pokemon, more or less. Hmm. For Azumarill, Gastrodon can take care of that thing, and it can also take care of Chandelure and Aegislash and the Kangaskhan. Do I want to bring. What do I want to bring? I feel like bringing um, the Dragonite. I'm bringing Dragonite. I brought Dragonite instead of Blissey. I hope I don't regret that. I was really thinking of bringing Blissey because it can use Thunder Wave and that would have been amazing. Oh boy, I think I'm about to regret this decision. It's just one decision that changes the entire outcome of the game. Sometimes. So I'm not going to start off with U-Turn. I'm going to start off with straight up Bullet Punch. No, no. I, no, yes, I'm going to start off with straight up Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch, you know what, I want to see what kind of damage it does to Togekiss. If it kills Togekiss, then I'm going to do another, another damage calc. Nothing wrong with damage calc. This is not, you know, you learn these things. I mean, even the, even then, damage calc won't completely help you because it's not showdown, so you can't see percentages. So you're going to have to deal with estimating. Mm. And, uh... Focus. Skull Breaker. What is going on? No! Bullet Punch kills. I am so using Bullet Punch. I hope it kills. If it doesn't kill, oh, I'm going to be the saddest cookie I know. Oh my goodness, it does not kill! I could have used Aerial Ace. Actually, 
Ooh, never mind. If we got a critical hit, it will kill. Yeah, it doesn't kill just by a little bit of health, and I thought, if it doesn't kill, might as well not go for bullet points. You want to go for the safest option, which would be go going for aerial ace. If you want to stay in, anyway, right? I'm going to go into Gastrodon. Hmm. Do I need Gastrodon for another Pokemon? I don't know, but I'm going to go into Gastrodon. It's going to get hit with Rocky Helmet, and then next turn, I can use Scald on it, or I can use Recover. If this is Power Punch, I'm going to use Scald. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, use power up punch again, guys. So he's gonna get health, like damage done to it, right? Now this thing can do whatever the hell it wants to do to itself. I am gonna use scout. Rock slide? Smart, smart, really smart. Only problem is not even that much damage. Probably gonna use return next, that would be a smart thing to do. I'm gonna use scald anyway. Okay, so we know it's move set. We know it's move set, and I'm actually scared. Can Scissor kill this thing? That's the real question to ask. Can Scissor kill this thing without killing itself? That is the real, real question to ask. Uh, if it has fire punch, oh boy, oh boy, I'm gonna just laugh. I'm I'm gonna really laugh if I have fire punch. I'm gonna cry if it switches out though. <laughs> okay. Mega Con, right? Mega Kangas, come on. Mega Kangas Con. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of damage calc, but hey, you know what? When you don't know something, what else are you gonna do? Okay, so Earthquake will seriously devour my soul, but I don't care. I really don't care if Earthquake does devour my soul or if it doesn't. I can use Bullet Punch. I can use Superpower or I can use Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch twice should get me the win, so I'm going to use Bullet Punch. Because in the scenario that it doesn't, Drawr, I had another critical hit too! I could have won! I mean, I could have won. That's amazing. That's what I meant to say. So, will this guy have Sucker Punch? That is the real question. If he's smart, no, I'm going into Dragonite right now. I want to go into Dragonite right now. I'm not risking getting hit with Sucker Punch. And uh, if he uses Earthquake, because that's the highest accuracy, whatever. He's not going to go for Rock Slides. Yeah, okay, yeah, I knew he was going to do something like that. Now he's probably going to go for the Rock Slide. I'm not taking my chances, I'm just going to go for extreme speed. I could have set up on him, yes, I know that, I understand, I understand completely. I could have set up on Kangaskhan. But if he does a rock slide, I might be in trouble, so I don't want to take my risk. I mean, I don't, I don't want to take any risk. I'm glad this guy did not opt to use... Okay, we win this game. Unless he has max speed, we win this game. Unless he has max speed, we win this game. Okay, never mind. We win, we win anyway. 
We went anyway because this guy's probably banded and uh, I don't see. He got three crits. Actually, you know what? I think this guy is in a misplay. This guy should have used Belly Drum. Wow. But you know what? We've got losses where we, where we did misplays like this too. So you know what? He actually might be faster and he might annihilate my soul. If he is faster than Scizor, he annihilates our soul. We have to make sure this guy is not faster. This guy might actually win this. Hold on. He did it smart. He didn't want to activate weakness policy. Okay, I understand. I hope we're faster. Please be faster. Okay, we are faster. So we win this. We win this game. We win this game for a second. I thought we weren't going to win this game when that thing went down so slow. Good game to my opponent. Now that was a well played. That was a really nice game. I hope you guys really enjoyed that because I really, really enjoyed this game. From a, from a competitive point. From a, from a point of me wanting to get points fast, I did not enjoy it because we were about to lose. But that was a very interesting, very nice game. So I'm going to do one more game. Uh, and I think I'm just going to stop recording for the day, for the weekend probably. Because when you play a game that intense, you're going to, you're going to feel it. You're going to be affected. I have that. Our rating is 1569. You're going to have that ice in your veins, but you're going to have that feeling, you know, just, just that feeling that constantly comes at you. So, that's probably going to be it for my recordings today. I hope we win. Actually, I don't even know if that was two games or one. It says we won eight games and lost three. That means our number of battles is 11. That's an odd. That's an odd number of games. Well, our opponent 1612. Again, another team that I am so used to seeing. I swear. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if these are the same guys. If these are the same exact guys I used to face when I was raiding up. It would make all the sense in the world. Anyway. Um, so. Blaziken is, is trouble. I like Gastrodon a lot. Gastrodon. Gastodon and Scizor combo. That's not Scizor. Forget about that. Gastodon and Chandelure. You guys don't know what Chandelure does. Chandelure hits any and everything super hard. That's what Chandelure does. Okay, so Gastrodon can take care of Zapdos. It can sort of take care of um it can take care of Blaziken to some degree. The Doomerold might be necessary to take care of that. The Doomerold can do a lot of things to Blaziken, Kangaskhan, and Garchomp. Um Gastrodon can take care of Gastrodon can take care of a lot of those things too. But the Feral Thorn is the problem. The Feral Thorn and the Azumarill? That's what I would say Chandelure becomes important. Chandelure becomes important because of that. So. Chandelure. I need this guy. Chandelure. I'm bringing Chandelure. I'm not bringing Dragonite. I regret my decisions, but I do not. Like, I'm thinking of all the different scenarios, right? I'm thinking of all the different scenarios that might happen. Now, I need more than two minutes to really think about all of those things. That's why you'll see I always take so much time in selecting the team. Because it's 3v3, you have to think about so many different things or you're going to roll a die, right? So you have to use those two minutes. You have two minutes for a reason. Anyway, so versus this thing, I'm not going to Toxic. I'm just going to Scowl because I want this thing to get burned. No, I want to use Earth Power, but I want this guy to get hurt. Will it hurt it though? That's the real, that's the real question. Yeah, I'm doing a calc for this too. Gotta make, gotta make good choices, smart choices, not just you know any other kind of choice. 
You've got to make smart choices, guys. Really smart choices. Don't make smart choices. You're the one who's going to pay at the end. No one else. Just you. No one shares what they're paying. Only you have your pain. That's not nice, right? And because it's not nice... Yeah, I'm gonna use Earth Power. It does twice the damage. That hurts. Oh wow, it was a crit! That's why it hurts so much! Well, we got three crits last game, so... You know. You know. Now if he missed, that would have been nice. Of course he didn't miss. If he missed, that would have been way too convenient. Probably... I don't think he's banded. I'm not going to check if he is banded. I'm just going to use play rough. Oh, no, yeah. I want to play rough. I hope this guy dies. And I hope he doesn't outspeed me, because that would be like the worst. He outsped me. He's banded. He has to be. He did so much damage. He's banded. I'm afraid of losing this so bad right now. Chandelure cannot. Oh. Can Chandelure withstand anything? And this is why if I had Dragonite, I would have actually been in a good position. Legitimately a good position. I could have used Dragon Dance when I came out last. <sighs> this sucks so much. This sucks so much. I hate this so much. I hate losing. This sucks so much. It sucks really bad. You guys out there? You guys that know what losing feels like, losing feels really bad. I know there are a lot of you guys that know how it feels, so it's like, you know. I want to go into Chandelure. I'm not bothering myself. I couldn't do the calcium time, so it's like, I'm just going to make whatever decision makes the most sense. Sucker Punch is going to annihilate my life. I do have EVs to survive. I'll just check my EVs quick. No, I'll check my stats quick. So I have 114 defense and how much health? 147 health. So what EVs? Who cares what EVs I need? I need to Can I survive a sucker punch? I cannot survive a sucker punch. I cannot survive a sucker punch, guys. I thought I could survive, but I cannot survive a sucker punch. Well, I have a chance of surviving. So, you know what? Let's see what happens. Anything else I can do? Now you use the flamethrower. Never mind. Oh, we are dead completely. I don't go first. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that, so uh, yeah, we lose. We could have actually had a really good chance of winning with Dragonite. So this episode, we learned that Dragonite is actually very important for the success of our teams. The Dragonite with multi-scale is not going to die. It can set up, and then it can go crazy. I'm just going to go for something. Yeah, we had a really good game, then we had a really bad loss. But, with this team, you know, it doesn't have any direct counters or anything to Kangaskhan. It's direct for Mega Gengar, because Gengar is like, you can't play around that. But uh, Kangaskhan you can. You can sort of play with Dragonite really nicely with it. 
So, we keep this in mind. Hopefully, in the next episodes, we play better, keeping in mind that Dragonite actually likes Kangaskhan. You can set up on it and do all these nice things. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I have, even though I lost. It was really, it was really something. A learning experience that Dragonite's really good and uh, versus Kangaskhan in Battle Spot. And uh, as a late game sweeper, it's amazing. And also that, you know, the first game was very exciting. So, thank you for watching. Click the like button if you like the video. This is Groudon Empire, and this was the this was the end of episode 15. Peace out.